Hi there everyone, my name is Dominic and welcome to Poppy's Playtime. Now, I know this is a game that most of you probably already know. Most of you have probably already played it if you like these kind of small indie horror games. You know, the kind that made their uh, kind of their way after, you know, Five Nights at Freddy's became popular, this came out. Um, what else? There was the one uh, Garden of Ban Ban, which I know was going around as like these weird, you know, these like weird child themed horror experiences that was always like you go into a place meant to delight children and horrible, horrible things happen. So uh, for my sake, though, I've never actually played any of these games. I've never played Five Nights at Freddy's. I've never played this. Um, I've seen other people play them, uh, but I realized with this one, I have not only I've not seen a playthrough of it. I've never played it myself. So um, so I'm like, OK, you know what? I'll give it a try. I booted it up to make sure it was all running correctly. So uh, but uh, who knows? I don't do well with horror, but it's October right now at the time of recording this. So I figured, you know what? I'll sacrifice for the channel a little bit and play something a little bit scary. <laughs> oh, I don't do well with scary games, though. You should anyone who's been around should know this. Because most of the games I've played, I don't deem actually very scary. Like, they're just kind of cool. Hmm? The most incredible doll ever invented. Oh my god, the true nightmare. 8mm video. And she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. A little girl can talk to her. Poppy gives her answers. She is the first doll actually able to have a conversation with a child. Hard to believe? Just watch. Poppy's as lovable as a real girl, and she talks like one, too. Hi, my name is Poppy. I love you. Can you help me polish my shoes? Why, of course, Poppy. Just like a real girl, Poppy always wants to look her best. I will say, these kind of toys have always freaked me out, I will freely admit. <laughs> when you brush it, and smells just like a Poppy flower. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Poppy? I'm a real girl. Just like you. Five ninety nine. It's time? a good deal, though. Playtime! And if you've ever wanted to see how all of the nation's favorite toys were created, Playtime Co. is now offering factory tours at just two ninety nine a person. An entire hour in the most magical toy factory on earth. What are you waiting? For? How are they making any profits at these prices? I mean, if the toy is only six bucks and then the tour is only three bucks, I mean. Anyway, I'm sure it's a lovely place from the look of it. <laughs> oh, God. I have a feeling this probably won't be that that scary. I probably shouldn't say that because then it probably will be. But, like, most of the games I've played so far, I've been playing, like, The Quarry. I've played, you know, Last of Us. I've played games that have horror in them. And some of them, like The Quarry, are meant to be straight-up horror games. But they're just cool. Everyone thinks the staff disappeared ten years ago. We're still here. Find the flower. Okay. That sounds awesome. Okay. Well, I like that we always just start in the middle. Like we're always just always like in these kind of games. Like from the other games I've I've seen. Like you know, at least I don't know. Like Five Nights at Freddy at least guess it has an excuse in that you're like the new night security. But all these other ones are just like you went in here looking for something to kill you. Like what do you think was gonna happen? All right, what do we got here? So cute. Can we not? Are you? Are, oh, you're just missing your back legs. All right. Can I interact? All right. Maybe I can't interact with that specifically. Like, let's see. What about? What's in here? Thank goodness they left all the lights on, though. We really appreciate that these abandoned warehouses with the creatures in them leave the lights on for us. Let's see. Uh. First try. Okay, I'm gonna assume that we're gonna find out what's for, like, you know, the code for this later. So, all right, anything to do with this though? Doesn't seem to let me interact with it in any way. All right, hi there, you big scary Gumby looking guy. Welcome. That's what I assume his um his voice sounds like. Oh, aha, aha, ha. green go in green thing. Big brain time. Hi. My name is Leif Pierre, and I'm the head of innovation here at the Playtime Co. Toy Factory. If you're seeing this, then you're trespassing. <laughs> yeah, we play this little tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. So, trespasser, 
Just to make you aware, while we pride ourselves primarily on our high-quality toys and excellent child care, we also pride ourselves on our security. For example, this facility is full of hidden motion triggers, which, once set off, will turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly contact the authorities. And that's one of the more tame aspects of our security system. Sounds very legal. So, you've got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it. Oh, it's not. Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry, buddy. It's not, and I would turn around and leave, but these doors actually are already locked. So, sort of a one-way experience. Eat healthy like brawn. What does it say? Playtime Coke cafeteria recommend <laughs> it's a daily intake of 4,000 calories. I, are the children training to be a linebacker? 4,000 calories. Oh, uh, that's okay. Who am I to judge? That's probably what I put away when I go to all you can eat sushi. Oh. Oh, gee, I kicked the shit out of that thing. The boogie bot. Man, it's funny, like, looking at this, like, it's weird to think that many kids growing up now won't, they won't know the experience of going to a toy store like this, um, except for at, like, a theme park or somewhere, but, like, man, I remember going to Toys R Us and all that, like, it was, it was just fun. It was just, like, it, was, it wasn't so much about, at least for me, me actually getting anything, you know, or anything large. It was just the fun of getting to see how many fucking toys existed, you know? Just going there and realizing how many options there were. Oh, God, is that the boogie bot? He twerked too hard and got his oil everywhere. I mean, I'm hoping that's oil, obviously. He's fine. Don't worry about him. Um, okay. Well. Oh, oh, that's easy. Okay, it just must be the colors on this. What we got? Green, pink, yellow, and red. Okay, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I just said that and I'm going to forget. Okay, hold on. Green, pink, yellow, red. Green, pink, yellow, red. Green, pink, yellow, red. Huh, huh, huh. I used to do theater and memorize whole lines. Green, pink, yellow, red. Green, pink, yellow, red. Go. Whoop, not jump. Green, pink, yellow, and. Aha! God, I swear my brain has gotten so soft. Like, I feel like ever since COVID, I, I can't blame it because I haven't even had COVID. Another tape, what does it say? Uh, grab back training. All right, we'll watch that in a moment. Um, blue thing goes in the blue v VCR, okay? Um, that's a lot of fucking cameras. Sorry, I'm getting so distracted. But I'm like, I, I want to play puzzle games, and I'll be like, man, I can't remember a damn thing it feels like. And I used to, I used to play, I played Romeo in, in Romeo and Juliet. That's a lot of fucking lines. And then, I don't know, the old, uh, the old brain ain't what it used to be. Still got room for lots of stupid jokes, though. Look at those graphics. What a time to be alive. The grab pack. You can smack that ass from a distance. All right, you tighten the strap on, or the strap, excuse me. <laughs> Both the cannons. You know, they never, I don't know, they probably would sell it. I'm like, my God, kids would be smacking the shit out of each other if you gave these out of like a school. There'll be no end to the level of harassment the kids would be doing to one another on the playground. Like that said, it'd be great though. It's kind of like the like the Spider-Man web shooters. Like this may cause injury. Okay. Okay. Wires conductive so you can connect spots together. Makes sense. Thank you. Use your grab pack responsibly. This VHS is not connected to the TV. I don't know how it's connected. Uh, something's fucky here. Because remember, you guys had to you had to match up the cables, all right? And sometimes you'd unwind these would fall out, and all of a sudden the audio would only be coming out of like you'd only hear like the left audio. Um, all right, there we go. Oh, I like the the blue right now. Okay. Mm. Oh goodness! Give me, give me. Oh, how many things can I stick? Whoa! whoa. <laughs> it's possessed. I can't squish in there. All right. Quick, can I go grab the, uh, I probably can't, but can I go grab like the train? Oh, wait, hold on. Can I grab, do we need this? Interesting. Yeah, is there any? All right. Okay, so we're gonna go in there and that's gonna start everything I'm assuming. So I just wanna see, can we like grab the train or anything? I gotta get my money's worth out of this game, you know what I'm saying? All these really advanced mechanics. Come on. Give me the train. Give me the train. Oh, fine. 
I'm taking way too long. I'm dicking around in the starting area. Like those things, you know, like what, like the game developers when they're seeing people do play testing, but see this shit all the time and be like, God, just play the fucking game. It's like I saw a Twitter thing that was people complaining about in, um, I forget what, oh. Hey, buddy. Oh God, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be playing this. I don't do well in horror games. I don't have the constitution. What does it say? Oh my God, the text is small. Playtime Co. has designed hundreds of distinct toys, but none connected with more people than that of Huggy Wuggy. Our founder, Elliot Ludwig, aimed to create a toy which could hug you forever. As is always true, Playtime Company's four-step process to creating the most lifelike toys was successful. I don't want toys that are the most lifelike. I just want toys that are fun and non-sentient. With a bit of string and polyester, our lovable blue pal Huggy was brought to life. Huggy Wuggy has gone on to, the, to be Playtime Co.'s most popular and successful toy so far. Up! Top Huggy Wuggy, good for you. Congrats on all your commercial success. Oh God. Okay. Hmm? Okay, we don't have the other one yet, so I guess we gotta search around a little bit. All right, we got, I know we're supposed to go in there. I can see that, but we got power over here. That's locked, okay. Testing, nothing. I'm just like I don't I don't play these kind of games, all right? I play <laughs> I play silly games. I've been playing Baldur's Gate a lot lately, all right? Which is exactly my kind of thing. It's funny Baldur's Gate's when I've been playing it, and I might play it. I might do a second playthrough for the channel at least for a little bit just to dick around. Oh, is that supposed to be like that? Like, is it supposed to send a power surge to blow the doors open? Did that did that not do it? Do I need to do it faster? Oh. What happened? Don't tell me I screwed something up already. Cause it should be unlocked now, right? Like it fried the circuit on it. Let me in. Let me in. Okay, hold on. I must be missing. All right, hold on. I must be missing something. It made like a sound when we hit the thing. So hold on. I'm gonna. Did like anything? Wait. Oh. Ah, okay, okay. The game's not broken. I'm just being a dummy dumb. All right, does this unlock this now? Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. We're doing. Uh, uh, I don't want anything to chase me. I know something will at some point. All right. Remember, do be kind to others. Show up on time. Do not hide behind the doors to scare life, Pierre. Don't stay past 8 p.m. Don't misuse company time. Don't pamper with machinery. Don't enter innovation wing without authorization. I'm gonna do all of those things. Um, I'm assuming this is where we're supposed to be, because like, what are, the, what are these fucking like Tesla coils they have in here? What kind of place is this? All right, open up for me. Can I? Ooh. All right, cause I need to get power connected. I'm assuming so. Um, it all goes over here. You're unplugged. Can I? Oh, aha. Da doy. Yoink. Aha. All right. Just going to stick my dick in that really quick. Can I? Oh, that's the thing. Okay. Come on. Come on. Touch the thing. Nice. Nice. Okay. All right, decent little, uh, decent little puzzle game idea. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Don't like that at all. Oh God, you're gonna hear so much of me nervous laughing in this. That's what I do when I get nervous is I make jokes. That's why a lot of times I may not, I don't always sound scared. I sound like I'm just being goofy, but that's what I do when I'm freaked out. Cause here's my logic. I can't seem scared if I'm cracking jokes a mile a minute. You know what I'm saying? Oh, make a friend. Oh, God. Candy Cat says, yum, eat. Oh, 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 hi there. Hi there. You just saw <laughs> your arm was sticking out there, sir. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. Can I go in here instead? You're locked. Of course you are. Okay. All right. All right. You know what? Also, my other thing that I do in horror games is if I run. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Uh, steam smack you. Stop it. Stop it. 
damn it. <sighs> I swear I should do the thing, um, I've seen a few people online do where they play these games with a heart rate monitor. I could do that. I could use like my like little Fitbit to track my heart rate throughout. That might be fun. Maybe I'll do that if I ever play Five Nights at Freddy's because I've never actually played it. All right. Hello? Housekeeping? Oh, so many, so many discombobulated toys. So I think too, I swear, if, if you don't hear me commenting a whole lot, it's just because um I'm scared. It's a very simple answer, all right? Uh, all right, we gotta look for an orange tape. Hmm? In the buckets anywhere? No? These things are very light or we're very heavy. So what's down here? Can we just play this? Is there a tape already in here? Nope. All right. Let's go up to Bay 2. Okay. God. It is funny because I'm like, the backstage area of almost anywhere, there's a reason why there's so many stories about, like, theaters being haunted and all of that, because they always kind of look like this. Like, having done enough performing arts, the backstage of every theater is so, like, not even necessarily grimy, just, like, dank and old and worn down and dusty and inherently feels creepy. Oh, so much fun. I've got this. Okay, so that just puts it in like my inventory. Three. Two. Huggy says, remember to take breaks. Breaks longer than 10 minutes are not permitted. A typical work environment. Um, all right, I'm assuming I have to hop down here, but I don't want to. Oh God. Okay, come on. Come on, everyone. It's okay. It's, it's okay. I don't need to be scared because you're you're doing this with me, right? And you're not scared. Because you've probably already played this game and you know what horrors await. Come on, open. Ha. There we go. Alright, cool. Just stay open, yeah. Okay. Handle with care. Shipment is highly fragile. Do not drop. Okay. Still don't have my other hand, which we're going to get that soon. Ah ha Gimme. All right. Where are the rest of them? What is this? We got that toy. I don't like all these little tubes everywhere. Like, is that what uh, Huggy Wuggy is using to get around? Oh, my God. Honestly, it is funny because I'm like, I, on one side, I feel like the, these style of um this whole style of game of like the children's factory and scary evil thing happens is getting a little bit played out at the moment but it also like it must be fun to design these games because the setup is pretty easy like i'd imagine the technicals are not like they're not again no game design is inherently easy it all takes a ton of work like any creative endeavor but um i imagine it's not insanely difficult because you're dealing with a lot of you know, static puzzle solving stuff. It's all about kind of building up the right atmosphere for everything. So, um, all right, where's the last thing? Is it on? Hold on. Let me check the shelves. A lot of times I'm not, I'm not looking vertically where things are, which I know is part of it. A dinosaur. You're coming home with me. <laughs> can I, like, can I move these boxes? Like, is there something hiding behind them? All right, here, let's go put these, uh, the cubes we have so far in so we see what color we're looking for. Let's see. We drop these in. How do I? I'm trying to interact. There you go. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. So we just got a yellow one left. Okay. So it's all everything else is working. Okay. Is that it down there? Oh, okay. There we go. All right. Figured it out. Oh my god. I don't know why that's confusing me so much. Okay. Anything here? Oh, it's just the tape. Oh, okay. All right. Hold on. Let's watch the tape then. We still have to find the yellow cube, but that's okay. Rich, where are they keeping the huggy boxes? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Remember when maintenance left in a sweep of this place? <laughs> no. Exactly. Nobody in this stupid company knows what they're doing. Oh, I swear, I haven't seen a single box in its place since they started flooding the storehouse with orphanage junk. Right. I get it. It's a nice program and all on brand. But, uh, it's just hard to be happy about it when manufacturing's on our necks about it because we can't find stupid hockey boxes. Rich. Oh, you're right. You're right. It's, it's for the orphans. I just wish there were less boxes. 
Anything less would be more habitable. Is, is that even a word? Habitable. <laughs> Wait, were they shipping the Huggy Wuggies to orphans? Is that the thing? <laughs> Those poor orphans. Getting hugged forever. All right. So I missed that tape. So the tape was just like lying around. So what the fuck is the last one of these little like electrical things? Come on. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay. Okay. Oh my God. I don't know why that was like just driving me crazy. Like, I think maybe if it was glowing more, like it, was, it had like a brighter glow to it. It might be easier to find. So, okay. All right. And just here on maintenance too. That is the funny thing. All these games is like you're basically just going in, like you're apparently you're trespassing, but really I'm just doing all the maintenance work. Aha! Oh, is it gonna give me the other hand? Oh hell yeah! The claw. Yeah, yeah. Don't drop it. Oh my god. It's making up for all the other uh, claw games I've played and lost. Cool. Now I can give double high fives. Wonk. Wonk. Ta da! And it scans like it's verifying your fingerprints or some shit. All right. Can, this box is really. Come on. Out of the way. Oh, uh, any day now. Come on. There we go. Jesus Christ. Uh. Oh, there, let's see. How do I crouch there? There we go. Oh, ooh. <laughs> we grab to complete the circuit. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, hold on. Hold on to that. Oh, where's the, where's the circuit? Hold on. Where am I supposed to be going? Okay. You got to grab this. Is there, oh, there's more stuff over here. Okay. So I just can't go up the slidey things, but. Oh, okay. I get it now. Uh, ah, circuit there. Uh, circuit here. Hit that. Yeah. Whoa. This one, this is like that, uh, that part in Toy Story 2 where they're going through the, uh, like the, the luggage at the airport. Like, which like, I feel like every kid at one point has been like, you just want to know how it works. Kind of like going to like a mail sorting place, you know, with the big automated one. Oh, oh God. Oh God. Everything's fine. Oh God. This is like alien for children. <laughs> like in Poppy's playtime, no one can hear you scream. Okay. Well, that's cute. They actually made the factory all decorated too for, you know, the factory tours. Still kind of nightmarish, but uh, needs power. Make a friend. Oh, delightful. If I had known this, this is where you go to make friends. Would have been here a long time ago. Nobody leaves without a toy. Okay. Fostering happiness. Adopt an orphan today. Yeah, what's with the whole orphan thing? Like, it can only be something bad, right? Okay. All right, there's a pink type somewhere. Doop do. Uh. Okay. Yeah, there we go. All right, got another power thing. All right, so that one's active there. So I gotta drag this across here, I'm assuming. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me see. Am I running out of, hold on, hold on, hold on, okay. I'm assu oh, I have to get this path set up first, I'm assuming. All right, let that go. Grab. Go faster, grab that. Come on, come on, grab it. All right. Yoink. And then can I smack this first? No, it has to be the powered one. Okay. Oh, we can only use this one at a time. Okay. Okay. I I think I'm getting it. Come on. Slide across. Okay. Smack it a button. Okay. And I go around like this and zap that oh, wait hold on hold on not like this oh shit <laughs> oh no i'm just dangling here oh god damn it oh okay well it's gonna work if i don't fall off the thing and die 
Also, it's always weird because we can never see our character model. So, like, I guess the idea is that it's like it could be anyone. But I'm like, am I am I a full grown adult doing this silly shit? Like, don't I have something better to do? What am I doing breaking into kids like warehouses just for funsies? Don't I have to go home and be depressed like a normal adult? Okay. Go around that one. Go around that. Fuck! God damn it! Okay, I get it now. So I have to go over here first before I try to connect anything. That's right. Okay. Because then I can connect this. Yeah, connect that. Let me through. What? What's happening? Why is... Oh, okay. There we go. Alright. Now connect that. There we go. There we go. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're right there. You're right there. Nice. Okay. Cool beans. So is that going to start the factory, I'm assuming? Uh. Nice. All right, cool. I don't think there's fall damage. Nah, we're good. Huh? Why was I moving slow for a second there? That scared me. All right. Come on, power on. Come on. Give me a toy. I've earned it. Do not enter. That doesn't actually apply to me. They, they weren't referring to me. They were referring to other people who shouldn't go in there. Oh, how do I? Oh, oh, I'm being so stupid. I don't have to smack the button. I just need to push the interact. I just need to. <laughs> there. Yes, maybe. Oh, fuck you. Oh, God, this is a nightmare. This used to be part of the kids tour. No, fuck that. Okay. All right, well, where do I go now? Do I get a toy because I've been such a brave boy? What does this say, by the way? Our founder, Elliot Ludwig, was a visionary. He set the stage for all of Playtime Company's greatest feats. Yet, of all the amazing things that he created, the Make a Friend Machine is one of the most creative, impressive, and advanced. It is solely responsible for nearly every Playtime Company toy sold on the market to this day. All it needs is to be fed the proper parts, and it will then paint, assemble, and do a quality inspection of the toy all on its own. Gone is the need for complex sorting or backbreaking labor. The machine can do it all and more. Okay, so I gotta like... Oh, I gotta make a toy. How delightful. Yeah, give it some pieces. Why is it grabbing that one? I don't want to grab that one. I want to grab... What the fuck are you doing? There. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Can I hop on here? <laughs> no, all right, all right. Toys only. I'm very dis I'm very concerned about what it's going to spit out based on what I just gave it. Come on, give me something nice. What'd you make? What'd you make? That's, those are, oh yeah, it's going to make me like a little kitty toy. Cute. I'll wait here for my treat. There it is. There it is. All right, is it coming? There it is. Oh. Is it a, everything okay? Is it up to factory inspection quality? I'm assuming now it's going to pop this thing open and then we can finally go through. So far, there's nothing scary about this. We got a little kitty toy out of it. Oh, all right. Let us in. Oh, do I just need to grab it now? Is this my toy? Give me, give me. Yeah. Cute. Oh, okay. Oh, and now this opened. Okay, oh, I guess we're done here for now. Cool beans. Where are we going? Hold on. Does this say stairway to hell? <laughs> Uh, no, it's a- Oh! 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 Shit! Fuck you! Oh, fuck you. Oh, fuck you. Where am I supposed to go? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. 
Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Holy shit, that scared the fuck out of me. Oh god. Okay, okay, go, 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 go! Oh shit, oh shit, he coming, he coming! <laughs> ah! Don't, don't what? Don't, I didn't read it, I don't have time to read it. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, he's right behind me, isn't he? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Don't be right there, don't be right there. Please, don't be right there. All right, oh god. Oh god, oh god, danger. Oh god, it's right behind me. Oh god, fuck, fuck. Fuck, this is so stressful. Move faster! <laughs> oh shit, 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 shit. Oh, I don't want to turn around and look. Oh, no. oh god, oh god, in here, in here, in here, in here, I think. Not there, not there. Ah! Oh my fucking god. Turn, don't turn back. Stop, stop. Okay, no, I can't turn back. I gotta go. Oh god, move faster. Why are you so slow? Go, go. Oh shit. Oh my fucking god. Okay. All right. Thank God for that. Oh my fucking God. Whew, that scared the shit out of me. Holy fuck. Fuck game, okay. That's why I don't play these games. That got my heart fucking going. Holy shit. Huggy Wuggy, you're a bitch, you know that? Give me that tape. No run, no stop, go back, danger, turn around. Yeah, well, it's a little late. What <laughs> all the bloody toys everywhere? Oh, hold on. Is there... Okay, hold on. There's a, there's a VHS player over there. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, don't like, don't like. <laughs> this is what I do. I hope you appreciate this. This is what I do for you all, because that literally... I'm sweaty now because of that shit. In relation, experiment 1006, the prototype. Coordination and cooperation is evidently within his skill set, as well as the skill set of all other experiments of his type. Though still missing, and these events are no doubt in relation to him, his absence was a flaw in the scientific process, which should have under no circumstances been left unaccounted for. That's why I'm making this log, so that the same mistake won't be made twice. Any future experiments will need to be contained and disposed of in a secure location. I'm not worried about myself. One breakthrough and I'll be back. We must forge onwards in the name of science. Whether those who are beneath us understand it or not. End of... <laughs> Did Huggy Wuggy pay him a visit? Gotta forge on in the name of science. You're not curing cancer here. You're making nightmares. You can absolutely... You don't have to forge ahead. You can simply stop because you're making something absolutely terrifying. Fuck's sake. All right, please... Is this just somebody's house? Is this where Huggy Wuggy lives? Oh my fucking god, all right. <laughs> now I'm like nervous going around every corner now that he showed up. Fuck, that, geez, oh god, that was the, okay, I'll, I'll give credit where credit's due. This game is not challenging by any means, but that jump scare of having him just walk through the doorway like that when you weren't ready for it is fucking scary as shit. All right, what's... I don't want to go down like this is like it feels like a totally different game like we're in some fucking haunted house oh god okay oh hi are you controlling everything the little dolly i really don't want to open it but i don't think i have a choice oh god oh god mm. you opened my case yeah i just wanted to talk just trying to be friends Oh, sh oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> God. I was tensing. I was clenching my butthole so tight waiting for that doll to come attack us. Oh, my God. All right, you know what? That's a goofy-ass game, but I get why it was so popular. This is the kind of game you make your friend play just to see their reaction. Like, I'm totally going to, if I'm if i going to see if I, anyone I know hasn't played this, I'm going to make them play it. Like, just because it's entertaining to see. That was fucking, I'm not going to lie. That was, that was fucking scary, though. The claustrophobia of being locked in 
those little um like the little vent you know little transportation channels and all that like that was legitimately really really creepy and it makes it such a scary environment because hearing just the clanging behind you that alone was so fucking creepy so all right you know what i i get the appeal now i'm totally excuse me i'm i'm, I'm belching i'm just i'm nervous i'm all my stomach's all in knots from that for a moment oh jeez this is why i don't play these games like i said i'm used to like the slow methodical kind of horror game like even a game like resident evil has some cool creepy moments like resident evil village but mostly it's just so goddamn fun you know it's just so such an enjoyable cool experience this was this was you know kind of ranged between slightly dull in the puzzle solving to being legitimately terrifying there at the end so good build up good solid ending which is what really matters i also appreciate that it wasn't very long a lot of these indie games from what i've seen and what i've played they are so concerned about the runtime that they bloat things with a bunch of you know really obnoxious puzzles where you're just you know you're going to grab an item and you're taking it back and it's just repetitive and boring and those get really frustrating but this got right to the point it really it was a short little succinct experience if you knew what you were doing you probably clear this whole thing in like i don't know probably like 20 30 minutes of gameplay honestly i haven't checked the the timer on this but it wasn't very long so um that was good i like it i know there's a chapter two out so i may actually pick that up because this was pretty fun and actually had a good that was a good finale that was worth the time so anyway there you go there's a little little one-off bit of fun for you this you know kind of spooky season you know and uh i'll do this more if you have also feel free to leave comments if you have any indie horror games that you think I should play. I really want to add more variety to the channel between my longer playthrough. So games that, you know, I can do in like just little one sitting episodes or have one or two episodes to complete them. So feel free if you have one that you've played that you like or you've seen someone else play, you want to see my reaction to it. Feel free to comment. I'm always glad to have suggestions. And if anyone wonders, like if you suggest a game or an idea, I do legitimately take them and I put them on a list and I'll refer to them and pick through them and try to find new games to play for the channel now and then. So um, but anyway, thanks for joining me for this uh, uh, nightmare experience and uh, I'll be back with more spooky stuff soon alright so thank you all so much for watching and listening my name is Dominic and I will see you next time bye